$40 worth of stripped copper cut off power to an entire shopping center for hours this afternoon over on the west side. And a medical clinic in that area almost lost more than what could be paid back. Employees telling the night team's John Paul Barajas they don't believe this was an isolated incident. Shavings of stripped copper are littered behind a west side shopping center off South Sarzamora and West Commerce. Suspects cut electrical wires to get to the copper, in turn cutting off power to all the businesses. But for Gano Health Clinic, the problem was much bigger than not being able to make transactions. Like this is sometimes the only way that they can get out of here. Uh, and then not to mention, obviously, I have uh, medications in my refrigerators. You know, I have vaccines, you know, not only flu, but even COVID vaccines. We need to make sure that those are secure and safe. And so we actually loaded those up into a, an ice chest and uh, transported them to my other clinic so that I didn't compromise the integrity of the vaccines. The clinic's regional director, Rafael Pena, says he found out about the power around 9 a.m. He got to work in calling an electrician, ordering parts, and getting same-day delivery to get everything back up and running by 2.30 this afternoon. All said and done, roughly $40 of copper cost them thousands. The shopping center here does have security cameras in the back, but Pena believes the suspects used this dumpster to get out of its view. Now, once they were back here, they cut through the chain link fence taking them straight to this box that was unlocked at the time where they stripped the copper. They've since added security measures. Pena explained they're used to crime in the area. He's had his vans and building vandalized, some of which he still hasn't gotten to cover up. And one time his x-ray machine was shut off because... Three weeks ago they came and they cut that box and so my camera caught them. <laughs> so they cut this box right here? They cut that box right there, yeah. Which, which, How'd they get up to it? Uh, they brought a ladder, believe it or not. They had a ladder. Pena says he's going to use this most recent theft to see where he can improve security at the shopping center. He's also reached out to SAPD and his district's council person to see if they can help. As for the suspects in this case, we're still waiting to hear back from police. At Public Safety Headquarters, John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, John.